Hi, Liz Ness here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use a little tool, a little guide that I made that's available for free on my site for making stars. By using this guide, you can make like really narrowly uh, pointed stars or really fat pointed stars. I have open here a 12 inch by 12 inch canvas at 300 dpi, which translates out to 3600 pixels by 3600 pixels. Okay, so for star guide selected, let's see, I'm going to want some, uh, actually somewhere around 70, I think it's probably going to be good. And I'm just going to just, I'm using black and I'm just going to tap somewhere in the center there. And you may notice here that there are like little gaps, and this is important for forming our star. Um, so let's go ahead and center this. I'm going to hit the transform tool and I have snapping on with a distance of three, which is just the default. That will help me figure out how to position this because it will give me nice little golden lines when things are getting centered here. Okay, whoops, there we go. Perfect. Okay, so turning off my transform tool, I'm going to go over to my layers here and I'm going to gently glide that layer over to the left and tap duplicate. And now I'm going to go ahead and uh, go over to my transform tool. And before I do anything, I'm going to flip this vertical. Now I want to make this star really have narrow points. So I'm going to bring this little circle way down in size, somewhere around, well, maybe even more than that. Yeah, some, something like that. Okay, or do I want it really that narrow? Because see, it's going to go point to point. I'm thinking, okay, maybe just a little bit thicker. There we go. Okay, and I'm centering that. And then once I'm satisfied, I'm going to go ahead and turn off the transform tool. Okay, and of course, depending on the size of the circle, it will make uh, pointier or thicker points for your stars. And so I kind of want it to be sort of a narrow point. So that's why I've made this little teeny inner circle so small. So now let's go ahead and use this guide. We're going to go ahead and go over to our layers and create a new layer on top. And I like this um, yellow color there, so I'm going to use that. And then I'm going to come over to Selection, and I'm going to make sure Color Fill is toggled on. So it would look like that if it was off. We want it to be blue and on. And then we're also going to select Freehand. And now we're just going to go ahead and tap inside of all these gaps. So we're going to go here, and then down here to this gap, over to this gap, this gap, and you kind of get the idea here. All right, and if you make a mistake and go to the wrong one like that, you can use two fingers to back up and back up again, and then you can resume what you were doing just like that. Okay, that makes kind of a nice little narrow star. I really like that, that's awesome. Okay, so let's turn this now into a pattern. So I'm gonna go ahead and actually, I'm just gonna go over to my layers here, and I'm gonna turn off the visibility of those two uh, circle layers, my guides, um, because I don't need them now. Um, and the next thing I'm gonna do is, let's see, I'm thinking, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, create a duplicate now. And uh, we're gonna, with this one still selected, we're gonna just gently slide and drop that other layer. And we're gonna go ahead and create a group here. All right. And now let's see, I think I'm gonna just select that group there. And I'm gonna use my transform tool. And I'm just gonna shrink this down. I'm using uniform. I'm just gonna shrink this down just a little bit. I'm uh, probably a little more than that. Okay. And now I'm gonna go over to my wrench and select canvas and drawing guide. And oh, actually it's already in the fourth, but just in case it's not, we're gonna tap edit drawing guide. And then if it, yours might look something like this. So just draw it all the way up to max so that it's divided in four. Okay. And then when you're satisfied, go ahead and tap done. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and just with that new group still selected, grab my transform tool and just see how this fits inside Okay, that's, it's going to cut off just a little bit. So I want to, with uniform selected, I want to kind of bring the size in just a little bit. And then I'm going to try to center it as much as I can. Let's see, whoops, maybe something like that. Okay, so I want the gaps to be about the same here. For a little bit more um, granularity and movement, you can just use your finger and tap and it'll move one pixel over. And actually that looks pretty good that way. And I think I just need to tap it to bring it down so that the top and bottom look a little bit more close. And I'm just I'm just using my eyes to guess this. I, you could be a lot more precise and use your guides to figure out placement here. But that looks pretty good. So now I'm gonna go back to that group and I'm gonna select one of the layers and select the transform tool and I'm gonna move it down and I'm gonna do just the same thing, but I want it down here because we're creating an offset pattern here for our star. Okay. 
and I think it needs to come down here actually a lot more Whoop. okay that's pretty good okay like I say just kind of you know using my my eyes to kind of figure out where the center should be right here and that looks pretty good okay the thing though is that with um, creating a seamless tile for procreate anyway uh, we want to create in black and white so I need to change the colors here so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pinch these two layers together to combine them like that will maybe yep there you go and then I'm gonna create a layer on top of that I'm gonna tap that layer and I'm gonna select clipping mask and then I'm gonna come over to my uh, colors here and I'm gonna double tap right there to get black and then I'm just going to drag and drop black there and now it has it just the way I want it and I'm also going to come over to my wrench here so that I can select canvas and turn off the drawing guide now I don't really need it any longer okay so what I do need though is under the wrench under add I want to select copy canvas and then I'm going to go over to I have a set of brushes called the essentials well actually it's a it's a brush pack it's essential starters for 2022 and this is available for my email subscribers and i will leave a link in the description below um, both for how to get to the star guide and also how to uh, become an email subscriber and i'm just going to go ahead and select the essential starts here and then there's this texture starter and i'm going to gently slide that over to the left and tap duplicate and the texture starter will tell me which of the two shape or grain that I need to replace in this case it's grain then I'm going to go ahead and tap edit and import and paste now sometimes it will come in like this so it's kind of the inverse and you really want the color of the the object that you want to use with color outside of the brush studio you want that to be white so we're going to use two fingers to tap so that our stars become white all right, because white is opaque and black is basically invisible. And when we're satisfied, we're gonna go ahead and tap done. All right, that looks pretty great. So let's go ahead and try out our new texture brush here. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and select, um, let's see, we're gonna turn off the visibility of that group and create a new layer on top. And let's select a nice, this is a good color. I love that little red color. Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and bring this up just a little bit. And I'm gonna bring my stars up there. And now let's go ahead and test it out. Oh, this is really cute. And that is really cute. Oh my goodness, I love it. All right, and that could be used for so many different things. Um, uh, you could use it on a card or a scrapbook page or just about anything. So anyway, that was a lot of fun. Thanks so much for watching and I hope your day is amazing.